hot. <laughs> Welcome back to the Smart Global. Today we are here in Dotonbori in Osaka, Japan and we will be eating $100 SGD worth of food. I have never been to Osaka before, much less Dotonbori, but she has. Yeah, it's actually my third time here. And I do have some recommendations. For example, I think the number one thing you have to eat here in Osaka, especially Dotonbori, is the takoyaki, gyoza, sweet potato. There's actually tons of like ramen and udon shops here as well. But yeah, they are known for their street food. Let's start eating. Let's start eating. Go. Let's go. 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 So we are here to spend our money. First stop is takoyaki. The brain slash testicle looking thing. That's what the figurine looks like, but it's takoyaki. Okay, let's go by. So we've gotten our takoyaki from this store with a very long name. Uh, you all can see it's behind us. But you just recognize it from the big ball on top. Yeah. Oh my god, shit, it's damn hot, guys. <gasps> Not hot. <laughs> tell you, tell you. First of all, it's been a long time since I've had takoyaki fresh. It's really very different from the takoyaki they eat in Singapore. I think it's very, very worth it. I think you should try takoyaki at least once mm, here right, in right. Dotonbori. If you really want to try takoyaki like on its own, like how it usually tastes in the original state, then you can try other stores. I want to eat the pink tang holo. Oh, let's go. That's my favorite thing here. Oh, really? You all know the strawberries in Japan are very sweet. And yet they added more sugar to it. But it's still delicious. Can you try first? I tried before. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's like caramelized already, hardened. Yummy. Right. The sugar part very sticky. Faster. <laughs> so I can eat. Mm. This is our first time eating pink tang hulu and like all the things stuck to my teeth at the sugar. I think for this shop, it's called Taro's Parlor. I think that the sugar coating a bit thick. Uh. We need to get the sugar out and move on to our next stop. Okay. What are we doing? We are queuing for the ten yen pan. This TikTok viral cheese. Pancake. So we saw like two ladies having it, so I just went out and asked where it was. Yeah, they gave us directions. So nice of them. And honestly, if we didn't ask them right, I don't think we would have found it because it's like quite ulu. Yeah, but it's so nice here. Like. You see, it got boat, got river. Okay, so we have this 10 yen coin here. Essentially, it's like a pancake like, with cheese inside. Alright, we have to try now before the, the cheese hardens. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It does not end. How long more? It is very simple, but I think it's because the crust oh, mm. is sweet. Then the mozzarella cheese is savoury, then you eat together very short. Honestly, a bit expensive, but I think because they put quite a bit of cheese inside. So that's why it's expensive. I would say this is a very basic thing. You have to try like once in your life, but I don't know if I will come back again. If you like cheese, and if you like taiyaki, it tastes like a cheese taiyaki. If you like these two things together, it's mozzarella. you can try, yeah. Now we have a soft, beautiful bun over here. It's not very interesting because it's a crab bun. C-R-A-B. Yeah, crab. And what do you have, Amanda? We have some sushi over here. It looks so cute, but I'm not sure what's so special about this. It looks like real crab though. Okay, let's try the bun. Oh my god, it smells so seafoody. I'm so excited. Okay, let's it try it. It smells a lot like seasoning. Cheers. This is real crab. It's very flavorful and like it really screams crab. I think the seasoning is a bit MSG, but it's very flavorful. 500 yen for one bun, which is like $5 thing. This one versus the 10 yen coin. I mean, this one this a bit one more worth it because it's crab. Yeah. Okay, moving on. So I'm guessing the sushi are all like crab meat, like shredded crab and tamago. Yes. Okay, cheers. Wow, it's one whole big crab. I think that the flavor of the rice is too overpowering. Mm. I think the crab got no much taste. Yeah, it's just normal sushi to me. Let's try the other one. This one looks like tamago, cucumber, and some crab yeah. concoction thing. Okay, let's go. Mmm! Okay, now. It tastes like regular sushi. To be honest, I think the sushi here is all quite standard. Yeah. Honestly, I think Japanese rice is different. Mm. So that's the only yeah. difference I would say there is. Yeah. Is it worth 1,118 yen? Uh, not really. Not really. Yeah. yeah, it's not really worth 12 bucks. Okay, next station. Sweet potato station. <laughs> Oh, that was not funny. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let's try this first. So, we got gyoza from Osaka Osho Jiao Su Shop. Osaka Osho in Singapore also has. Oh, yeah lah. Singapore have this brand lah. <laughs> Maybe the Japan Air plus this is good. Jilang, Jikua. Very salty. This tastes very processed and very like franchised. This costs about $3. Mm. I think for six gyozas, I think it's not bad of a price. But there are better ones out there. Correct. Next one. What is this thing 
floating out of the... It's a creme brulee sweet potato. I love sweet potato. Do you like? Yes, I love. Wait, this is going to look so wrong. <laughs> you eat first. Ah. It looks so good. Oh, wow. Oh my god. It's so sweet. There's some kind of custard thing on top, drizzled with sugar. And it's torched. Yeah, for that creme brulee vibe. I prefer eating sweet potato warm. By itself and warm. Yeah. And I think sweet potato itself, right, the natural sugars are sweet enough. I wouldn't add like additional sugar on top. I think it's too much to finish by yourself. While we were talking, the police just find a bunch of bicycles that were parked here. Oh it's quite funny. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, off to our next stop. Go, I'm at the stop eating! Now we have a pie over here that is uh, freshly made. It's mochi and red bean. Quite special, I would say. How much is it? It was 280 yen. $2. So $2. around $3. Thing. Yeah. Fine, I eat it myself. She has been trying to do this the entire video. Mm. There's like a thousand layers inside here. The pastry is very good. It's yeah. very light and flaky and so crispy. I never had red bean pastry like that before. Eh? This is pretty interesting. You tried mochi already? Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, not what I expected. Mm. They made it a lot more suitable to be eaten with the pastry. Mm. It's not so thick and chewy. Yes. It's like a bit melty. Totally worth trying. Worth more? Yeah, worth. Just a random shot that we walked past. Yeah, we, it was, it, I don't think it's famous or anything. If it is, let us know, I guess. Or we didn't know about it. <laughs> I don't know why she's only shocked because she's only creamy, creamy, creamy. Okay, guys, behind us, right, is the creamier ice cream. It's my favorite ice cream to eat when I come to Japan. It's really good. If you Google the shop, right, you cannot find where it is because there's no specific store. It's always like a, attached to a cafe or like sharing space with another store. So you can never find it on Google. It's that you chance upon it, you have to buy it. It's very nice. Okay. okay. She said until so nice, right? It better be dead. Damn nice. One each, okay? Really? One each? One each. Okay, so this is the original. This is the original. This is the green tea one. Yeah. So they just sprinkle like a bit of green tea on top. So I recommend if you never tried it before, try the original first. Cheers. Let's go, cheers. Ah! Okay, cheers. <laughs> wow. It's extremely creamy. Try the biscuit. Oh. The ice cream is very milky, very creamy, but not gelat. Then the cone, right, is like this cookie base that is very complimentary with the ice cream. That's all I can see. But if you don't like creamy ice cream, I think you might not enjoy this because it's really very milky. I buy that one with my own money. Honestly, it's okay, but it's not fantastic. Like, and it's, it's, okay. it's okay. She is a hater. Oh, 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 hater, oh, oh, hater. oh, oh. So we got some very Cute looking macarons from this shop behind us called Bonne Caron. Bonne Caron. Oh, Bonne Caron. Okay, we have four different flavors. We have salted caramel, bear cheese, strawberry, strawberry and, mango. and mango. The mango is 450. Our producer Nicole picked it. Alright, shall we try uh mango first? Okay. I write for that. Okay, it tastes like very artificial mango. Yeah. Is it worth 450 yen? I'm not so sure. So, I think the centre, right, tastes like buttercream, mm. which is not something I like. I prefer fresh cream. The macaron shells texture, not dry. my favourite. It's, it's dry. not like crispy on the outside and like chewy on the inside. It's just dry. Okay, let's try strawberry. You try first, ah? Huh? Strawberry one looks promising though. Eh. Not the strawberry bad. is not artificial taste. So, the cream inside, right, it tastes like the poppy strawberry kind of. Flavoring. But less artificial. You can do the honors. This is the salted caramel. I think they should rename it bitter caramel. Very bitter, right? <laughs> the torched sugar on top is too bitter. I can't taste the salted part at all. Yeah. It's just sweet and bitter. And the buttercream in the middle doesn't give much. Oh man, so far everything has been disappointing. Ah yeah, this one's so cute. It's called rare cheese. Oh I'm wow, well, I'm very excited for this. Uh, Hopefully it tastes like oh, uh, oh dear. Mm. It's okay. The taste of the macaron shells are too overpowering. So you cannot really taste the flavour of the cheese. I think also overall, right, because they use buttercream. And buttercream generally has a stronger flavour. Then it overpowers everything else. The macarons look really good as a gift. Yeah. If you present it in a nice little box, right, I think it's very nice. But taste-wise, it is so-so. Yeah. Okay, we walked past a shop where I think they sell seasonal desserts. Yeah. And now it's strawberry season. So we got the okay. strawberry Mont Blanc. And also the strawberry daifuku. And this one, according to the label, it has whipped cream inside instead of red bean. La. It looks like a tang. How, how is it possible to eat strawberry and mochi at the same time? Okay, maybe one bite of strawberry, then you eat one bite of the mochi together. I try. I think it's red bean. But this one's not the usual red bean. Eh. I think it's a uh, paste. Good. Very yummy. Eh. It's yummy, right? I prefer this over the red bean. Red bean eh. mm. I am not a fan of Mont Blanc, but let's go. Ooh! Ooh. It's all cream. Okay, you can go first. 
Can you feed me? Mm, how about no? There's a filling inside. Might be chestnut because like Mont Blanc, the base is chestnut. I'm confused whether the base inside is chestnut or Let's try sweet it. potato. I'll try it. And I'm done! <laughs> chestnut. I yeah, think it's chestnut. chestnut. Ah, it's chestnut. I think the strawberry adds a nice flavour to the Mont Blanc. Mm. Yeah. Like usually plain Mont Blanc, I don't even. The strawberry is like very gently like appearing. Yeah, okay. very pleasant. I find the sponge a bit dry. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like crumbly and flaky. Other than that, the flavours are quite there. I actually prefer the dark mm. You also? Yeah, I prefer Okay. Also. All right, friends, we are here at our last stop and we are having Okonomiyaki. Okay, initially, I thought they were going to pour the batter then we can cook ourselves, but no. They actually already cooked for us, so yeah. all we need to do is cut it up. First, let me yeah. remove this, I guess. Oh, so cute. Yeah, cute but impractical. <laughs> you can do the honours. How many people? Six people. Yeah. I don't know how to cut into six. Let it. Um, no, I can just cut into quarters and half the quarter <gasps> Oh, a mandel phone. I am sorry. I am sumi masin. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it. It smells so good. Okay, shall we? I'm a bit scared of the grill because it's quite hot. Wow, smells damn good. Ready? Ooh. Let's go. Mmm. A lot of vegetables. I think the ratio of the batter to the vegetables is very even. The one thing I would improve is that they should put more mayonnaise because I like their mayonnaise. How much is this? 900 yen. That means we are concluding our $100 food tour in Dotonbori. This means you've come to the end of eating $100 SGD worth of food here at Dotonbori. Amanda, which was your favourite dish that we had? <laughs> Honestly, right? True to what Osaka is famous for, I think my favourite today is okonomiyaki and takoyaki. Mine is the same as yours because, right, the rest of the dishes I would say you can get in many other parts of Japan. Mm. But takoyaki and uh, okonomiyaki, right, it tastes the best in Osaka, I feel. Uh, not that I would know, I've never been oh, here yeah. before. Overall, I think the most interesting and surprising food that we tried today was the pastry with uh, mochi inside. Yeah, I think that one very different. Mm. It's not something that I've tried before in Japan. And of course, creamy. creamy ice cream. I found creamy ice cream and I'm very excited because I always wanted to share with people. For me, I think one of the more interesting things that I had today was probably the pink hulu, the strawberry. I think I will sound like a mountain tortoise, but I've never had that before. So I thought it was quite tasty. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell down below and watch our other videos over there. Bye! Bye. Over there. Sleeping. Good night. Good night, little child. <laughs>